Mulifin Zegi says Kaiser Chiefs are running their own race. I find that to be a very ridiculous notion. Hello and welcome to Coast Nation Fan TV. I am Pelo, I am your host, and this this is where fans meet and talk about Kaiser Chiefs. I'm a Kusi Football Club. Kaiser Chiefs, the biggest club in South African football in Southern Africa. And yet you are going to tell me that this team is running their own race trying to improve on last week's performance and trying to be better this week no you know what last year i used to think yeah there is a period where you're gonna say oh the club is building all oh, the club is building and i will admit part of it was up to the fact that i was like oh this is a new coach at one and all of that stuff but it's continuing with unsegi even this season we are still running our own race our own race, Kanjani. Pirates are winning cups left, right, and center here. Sundowns is playing in the in the Super League. Sundowns is playing in the Champions League. Sundowns are winning the league again this season. And Tina, we are just still improving our performance. That's not good enough. What's good enough for KZ Chiefs fans, for people who are spending money and money month after month, is not for us to say, oh, wow, this week we played 600 passes. This is 200 more than last week. No, we want to win. We want to win things right now. I do not want to hear anything that says, oh, but if you look at our performance, it has improved. Improved, yeah, and you have nine players, nine new players that you have signed, and you are telling me that you are still competing with your own self, Kanjan. Because that means you are going to play against Chippa United, a team that we should be destroying in the very first team of, in the very first game of the season. But what do you do? You play a draw against them. And then the next game that you play, you are losing to Sundowns. Then you play another game. You are looking ridiculous with new signings, with new players, and yet there is nothing that's improving. Why? Because the mentality is that, oh, at least if we play 50 more passes this week, it's better than last week. No. If we have three more points, it's better than last week. If we have three more points, we are better than last week. Not this thing of playing, not this thing of playing so many games without winning. My camera was falling there. But my thing is, Kaiser Chiefs are such a big team. And there is no time to say we are going to be building for two seasons in a row. Because you look at teams like Tottenham Hotspur, like Ange Postecoglou just came in this season. Came in this season, he didn't sign 10 players. The marquee signing that they made was James Madison. How many marquee signings did Chiefs make? How many big and crucial signings did Chiefs make? At the back, two. Msimango Titlokwe, big signings. In midfield, we have two key signings, Castillo and also Mteto. You still haven't done nothing with those players. Up front, you have Ranga was a very good player for Ranga, for, for Galant, so that's a big signing in my eyes. You also have Modi, who was a very big signing. Now we can negotiate with Mtanzane, uh, Mtanzane and who else? Mtanzane and Mtanzane, Gonzalez, and the last one, which is Potsa and Uguti, where do they rank? But those first six players are crucial players, are key players that if you gave to any good coach, any coach who understands how big case achieves is, they would have done something with that. But if the mentality is, oh no, let's just improve on last week's performance, no, no, that's unacceptable. That's unacceptable. A better performance than last week is not good enough for Kaiser Chiefs. What's good enough for Kaiser Chiefs is if Kaiser Chiefs had already won MT8 with the squad that we have. It's enough, this thing of saying, ah, oh, it's fine. We could have, uh, what's the word? We, 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 we were robbed. No, yeah, we were robbed. We were robbed in the second leg. What about the first leg? What about the first leg? Where we just sat deep and defended the whole game. Ah, the leaky, eh, this, eh, eh, we defended against Sundowns the whole game. We are playing like cowards in all these other games. Why? Because we are trying to concede one less goal than the previous game. And then we are going to say, oh, it's a better performance than last week. No, no. Enough with this with this thing, Yoguti. Oh, as long as we are better than last week, then the performance is better. No, I can't accept that. And Chiefs loses against Amazulu next week. I'm going to lose it. But I'm not going to do anything about it, obviously. But it's just showing that if the mentality is not right in the coach, oh, guys, you did well today. Is that what the coach says? 
because I need a coach who's going to rip into these players and have a mentality that where Kays achieves and there is nothing that is acceptable less than winning each and every game. You can't win every game, Pilo, where Kays achieves. Which team has a better squad than Chiefs? Which team? It's only Pirates and Sundowns. And I would argue that Chiefs has better players than Pirates. So only Sundowns has better players than Chiefs. But if you look at the balance of things as well, you look at the game that we've ga- we gave them when we tried to play, then you see that even Sundowns shouldn't be a, tra- a problem for Chiefs. Yet, since we're cowards, we don't even try to do anything to Sundowns. We don't even try to score goals against Sundowns because we're too scared to play against Sundowns. Why? Because the mentality is, as long as we play 50 more passes this week, it's better than last week. Absolutely ludicrous. Maybe that's just me. Let me know down in the comment section what you think about this. Thank you so much for watching. And until next time, remember, equals Alpelumoya.